Hey, good afternoon, guys. Finally, it's starting to look like a fall day. I need to run up to the gas station and get a little fuel for the TMR mixer. We go through a lot of fuel. Like that. Hope everybody's having a great day. I want to make sure this thing starts up here. This was not on my planned agenda, but I thought I'd better do it. Get some gas for the TMR mixer here. Uh, wanted to uh, start up there, to see what was going on, to make sure it's charging and stuff. Got my fuel cans. Got my handy dandy. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Seat belts going on. We'll do a little, uh, fuel run here and then we'll come back and we'll look at the soybeans, the oats, the radishes. Just an absolutely gorgeous day here. I'm not sure where you guys are all located from and what's the weather like and are you guys getting a lot of sun? It's about 73 here now. No, I don't got no cold. Wisconsin. Mm. No, I just thought I'd take you along a little bit here. This is not the greatest uh, 
camera mount, but. Get a few gallons of gas, and then we're going to take the farm truck for a little bit of a spin here, quick. A little shaky, isn't it? So I got two uh, hats to send out. We had two winners here. One on the shovel, Ralph. He was a. Uh, Good enough to go ahead and find out who the winner was on the shovel. Uh, the next next one we're gonna do is on the guessing how many hours are on the John Deere 330 330G skid loader on Friday. So whoever gets the closest on the hours, I did show the hours there in the one video. So we'll send another hat out. This one here is a Pioneer hat. This one here is signed. <laughs> That's okay, Ralph. Mine's a little more fun to drive. Mine has a uh, overcast and sun. I'm trying to hold it so it don't shake so much. Hey guys, how you doing? So we're running for some, uh... Yeah, no leaky windshield. <laughs> I have a sunroof. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. <laughs> I bet you don't have a shaky uh, camera mount either. So I just run up here quick. Like I said, well, it's 72 here at the moment, the truck says now. I got to go by what the truck says. The truck's always right, right? There you can see if any of those houses you're interested in buying. I'll pump some gas here a minute. the price of uh, fuel in your guys' area?
292.3 here. Restamix feed, two dollars and uh, two ninety two which is almost two ninety three a gallon. likes to get up and go. G6. It's going great today. Great weather. Feels nice outside. <laughs> it's 45 now. Oh. Well, CR, we know what it's like to have wet and cold weather. It's been... Uh... <laughs> it's been a challenging year, but... Hey, thanks. It's just an old farm truck. With a, well, I better put my seatbelt on here, you guys. I can't handle that. It's just an old farm truck. Nothing, nothing fancy, you know. It's just a, just an everyday driver fuel truck. Yeah, everything's still really green here. Yeah, family farm truck, that's right. What have you been up to, uh, CR? What have you been harvesting lately? I know there for a while you guys were pretty busy. Come on, jumpy. Green beans. We had a nice uh, lunch today with the family. I had uh, handballs, sweet potatoes, peas and carrots, coconut custard pie, and a peach pie, and uh, cupcakes, peanut butter cupcakes today for lunch. Coffee. You guys do a lot. Handballs, they're like ham loaf, but they're just in a ball. 
it's a Lancaster uh, dish, I guess. Yeah, Ralph, I have to make my decisions tomorrow. I don't know if I told you guys this, but as soon as I can get one into the butcher, as soon as I can get the one into the butcher, is um, one was placed was February, and the other place I think was January, almost in January, and they were booked out that far to get a pig in or even a steer. Yeah, so anyway. Are we still here? Hey, look at that. It didn't even fall over. Excellent. We back? Alright, we're back now. Yeah, so anyway, they cannot get anything in to the butcher until next year. The two are the better ones. If I lose reception, let me know. I'm going to have to pull this thing out of here. No mobile butcher? I, I think even if there was one, it'd be hard to... Uh, <laughs> if there even was a butcher, I think it would be even hard to uh, do that, Ralph. That's something I like to send them off and get it packaged nice because we do give some meat away. I love these gas fuel tanks. Are we losing reception in here? Yeah, I am, JDS. Thanks. Okay, well, this thing was player, uh, just about empty. I couldn't even get it up to the tanks if I wanted to. Yes, I know I should keep it full. I was in a hurry to get ready this morning for church, and, uh, well, that's what happens. So anyway, they think it's bottle time now. The calves behind me here. The calves all over around here. Piggies all are nice and clean. I guess I have to be. A, I'm a little wheezy around butchering animals, Ralph. <laughs> I'm kind of, I don't know if, I'm getting better, but I like to send my stuff away, I guess. We had a couple animals, we had a injury here on the farm that we had to take care of, and that's, I don't know. I can't be good at everything, and butchering animals is not mine. Losing animals is not my cup of tea. Yeah, we have dairy cattle. Yeah, a lot has changed since the 80s. I don't know. Would you do it again, Scott, today? If you had the opportunity? You have a question? Go ahead, Nick. I'll try my best to answer it or jump around it. They want bottles. It's not bottle time yet. I played with a cap gun, but I have to be... I ha But I have... We, I have, but I have a weak stomach too, or something. Yeah, it's, blood's not my uh, favorite thing to see. Well, the other, uh, 
Well, back in August, we put that, uh, how do you advise on the new ranch to raise cattle on first ranch? I'm kind of lost with that question there, Nick, honestly. Maybe uh, explain it a little bit better there for me. We're going to drive this up to the other barn. Back here and see our piggies. Eh? They're nice and clean. <laughs> You guys are all nice and clean in here. It takes a lot of work to keep looking like this. Uh, there is some Holstein, Iowa. There is Holstein steers, but there's a lot of heifers here now. We have quite a few heifers. So. I bed these guys with uh, first cutting and second cutting grass hay. And uh, it's a lot of work, but to keep it clean down here, and so. But this boy here, he's big. What advice can you give me for being a first time rancher raising cattle on a first generation ranch? I'm here for the mooing. <laughs> Uh, as soon as the weather gets below uh, freezing, Ralph, and uh, they want to say hi. You want your bottles, don't you, babies? You're not really babies anymore. Um, on the question on the ranch, it's a little bit different maybe than farming, to give you an honest answer. Uh, ranching, you probably do more um, grazing the cattle. Here we do everything uh, in the steer barn. Let me get out of here one.
uh, extra grain in it. No, you do not need to go to college to be a farmer. Because I sure did. <laughs> Maybe that's what's wrong with me. I don't know. green and the minerals and stuff there why well, you won't see the minerals anymore but you see the green mix nice feed It all depends where you're at and your location. Uh, there's a lot of good uh, farms out there that always are willing to let somebody come in and and get an education. I know there's a guy right now down in uh, South Carolina uh, from Germany, and I think maybe Scott knows who I'm talking about. Uh, he was here at this farm. He's down there working on a farm right now. He came from Germany to visit here. And now he's down in South Carolina working on a big crop farm down there. Peanuts, I guess. Corn. Hello, farming from above. So, yeah, so there's ways to get a lot of good education on a farm in your area. Uh, somebody asked about uh, down below the Holsteins, why don't we feed on a feed rail, I believe. Are you still here? I don't know who it was. What brand of grain bins do you suggest? Uh, for storing grain like uh, whole corn or uh, this here, this and here's a farmer boy. Uh, they're a company out, out of Myerstown, Pennsylvania, and they make a good product. I don't know, you know, where they uh, if they sub all their stuff out, but it has a Westfield uh, auger on it. And that's out of Canada, I believe. Somebody can correct me. But they, that's a good, uh, nice setup there. Just pushing this back here a little bit. They're not really that hungry. They're just spoiled brats. Uh, somebody asked about Cadillac. And uh, I think he's uh, 216 here. Um, once they get out in the pasture here, we're going to go out there next, the feed lot, and look at the oats and the radishes. Hey, Skinny, put your leg back. And, uh, and then we can do a little bit better on video on the cattle. In here is all you do is see black, and you really don't get to see the real size of them. Um... So I'm just going to spend a little time here and, and we'll go out here and look at the radishes and uh, see our height out here. I don't have a tape measure with me, but I like to get it up over my knees and then get them out there and split the field a little bit. Give them something to eat on before frost. We did fence this in back here and let a couple cows come out and just trim the grass down so I didn't have to mow it. Uh, fence is not a one. So. It's probably about eight or nine, ten inches tall here now. The radishes are looking really nice. Now I've been, uh, this is planted right after we chopped the corn off, so that was back in August. Uh, I'm sure Ralph can tell me exactly when I did it. He really keeps an eye on me. But it's growing today. Oats like this heat. Up here, I just want to show you this corner here. And, uh, 
Yeah, I can. I can't. I don't know if I can turn around or not. Yeah, I can. Just to give you an idea of my boots here. Just a little idea of how high. Now it's not all like this, but it's pretty close. But this is the radish down here. I want to. I don't know if we can pull one of them out yet or not. They are a 30-day crop. <coughs> a bug. You can see they're just smell nice. I'll break the. Yep, definitely smells like a radish. I'm gonna take that with me and give it to the cows to see how they like it. Cause this is all new to me. So, I know Ralph asked about the oats and the radishes. He's excited to get them out here on this. I always like nice black Angus on a green uh, field. Give them a day or two, they really shine. And get out of here again. Ugh. Don't ever swallow a bug, it's hard on you. Corn is really changing fast out there. That gets chopped over there by the, on the other side of the beans there. And, uh, up here a little bit the beans are starting to turn tint there i don't know if uh scotty and i seen that he had a video out there a soybean farmer but what do you see here starting to change here nice pods these are really nice beans but you can see it's time for them to change now these are uh, double crop soybeans so, yeah, I mean, for double crop soybeans, that field is a nice looking field. Last year I wasn't happy with the planting. But this year wasn't just bad, but let's just look at this guy down here. <laughs> what do you see there? That's a lot of pods, and they're not small, they're thick. I'll lay it to the top. Now, yeah, they're not all going to look like that, but look at this. For double crop beans. And they're clean down in here. They should have no problem hitting 25 or 30 bushel. For double crop beans, that's really good. You know what I mean? Uh, and they're not, they're filled out. I mean... All right, we got our radish here yet. We're gonna take that back down to the steer barn. Swing around here. You can just still see the leaves are starting to change. Yeah, they're loaded there. <laughs> I only have one, Ralph. I was going to give it to the cattle. <laughs> well, it's not what I did. <laughs> it's not in my hands, if you know what I mean. We just buy the seed. <laughs> we line up the planter. We put it in the ground. We'll go down here. Uh, we put oats and radish. Now, I don't have the name of the what type of radish anymore. Uh, I don't have the type of radish, but uh, maybe Ralph could tell you. I did a video on the seed uh, tags. I know, I know there's a lot of new guys that are constantly coming and going. And uh, I do have a bag of oats here left yet, I think, or two, or three, four, five, six, maybe. I got barley up there in the barn needs to go in here as soon as we get a break in the ground. Hmm. 
who wants to be the guinea pig on the ratty? Hmm? Well, I think they really like it. Red likes it, don't you? This guy wants it. This guy's begging for it. That guy said, you're too lazy. I'm taking it. We like red. Very nice looking. Nice looking room. Well, it's gone. So I think they approve it, Ralph. I bet they can't wait to uh, get some of these heifers out there. But... I got 138 here. She's bred. She'll have a calf here in uh, January. She's a purebred Holstein heifer. She has some very nice pedigree behind her. All our heifers have nice pedigree. Yes, I forget what the question was on the feed rail. Is it red jersey? No, that's a black. That's a black Angus. <laughs> that's a black Angus right there. With their bloodline got mixed up somewhere along the line. Pit, how are the pigs getting along? The pigs are doing good. Um. <laughs> no, I, I was being uh, serious about it. Her daddy was black, black Angus, purebred. Her mommy was a purebred, black Angus. Where the red came from, I have no idea. Where do I buy cattle from? Um, well, originally I bought... <laughs> yeah, well, you know the stork usually brings them. I try to explain to the kids how that all works. You know, we're, how they're made and... Well, that's a conversation for a whole nother day. But anyway, we're still up with the stork. The stork brings it. That's a joke. Sorry, that was a very good one. But anyway... Um, what was I going to say? Out of Redding, Pennsylvania, a, a guy is a producer. He had purebred black Anguses. This goes back uh, back 2012, I think, roughly. Don't hold me to it. And I ordered uh, 12 of them. And um, I was going to guess. Uh, um, so I ordered 12 of them. And uh, I still have my original 12 down there. And then I have another guy. Well, I had bought, we got some bulls out of Virginia, off of a breeder. And then I did buy some calves out of New Holland. I seen reds before, yeah. So the genetics, I'm not sure where that came out of or how. It, but um, that's one of the things that you know. It's kind of rare to. Uh, see once in a while here's the oats here somebody want to know about the oat seed that's what we planted it happens yeah <laughs> in transportation it happens anytime right scott so the i don't know if i have any bags or i have a receipt for the um radishes but um we planted this about 200 pounds to the acre down now, I, some of you guys will say, wow, that's too much. Well, again, you didn't see my uh, no-till drill either, did you? Yeah, they're, the red, I'm not sure how the red come in. I, like I said, I'm a younger uh, guy here just putting a herd together, but we went for quality. I have some nice frame beef cattle. And um, let's see. I don't have any bags of radishes around here. There's a video on, on the radishes and stuff. I might get to respond to a comment or something on that. Um, what else? What else we talk about here? We 
So yeah, we have the red blood line there. Something I usually don't talk about, but I had one of my cows drop twin calves the other day. Uh, probably yesterday was Saturday, Friday. Friday she dropped twin twin bull calves, and they were a little early. They didn't make it. I told uh, Ralph about it, I think. But yeah, so we had twin bull calves. One had a nice white face. Now, so we lost those two, but. She was a different, uh, she was just a little different cow. She had some incidents in her early life, and I don't know. So I was going to plan on sending her out of here. Uh, now she, just waiting for her to clean out. Well, it's, that's life, you know. Uh, you're always going to have loss when you deal with cattle, but there's a lot of different things could have happened and didn't happen. But if it was going to happen, I knew it would happen to her, uh, just the way she is. Um, so I'm waiting for her to clean, and if you guys know what that means, uh, to dump the afterbirth. Yeah, uh, usually takes with twins. It usually takes a little longer because you're doing a, dealing with a lot more mass, but. Yeah, losing them always hurts, but that's life. Um, we always have, you always have the, uh, the plus and the benefits of, uh, but yeah, one, they were cute. Uh, one had a white face and the one was pure black on the twins. And uh, we have one bull is a Semitol Black Angus mix, and that's, um, his name is Spartan. And, and I almost wondered... If Spartan and another bull, we have another uh, purebred Black Angus. Um, you always gain more than you lose. Yeah, that's right, Scotty. And if you lose too many, you know what you do? You just go out and buy, buy some to replace them. Um, and it's, yeah, dealing with anything, it has life. It always has a... A short span of a, of a life anyway to begin with and it's just like it's gonna last forever no we can get a year and a half out of it that's great <laughs> but especially if it's a steer you know it's gonna go to beef beef somewhere along the line if we don't finish it here somebody else will finish it You can always try next, uh, again, next year at least. Well, this one here, I'm going to ship it out, McDonald's. <laughs> no, I don't think McDonald's buy, buys Black Angus. I, I, I have other thoughts on that one, Scotty. Um, but again, it's just my thoughts. Well, I'm going to go in and we're going to start mixing bottles. So I got a... We got about, um, I think around 30 some calves right now in bottles. We had five or six come off. So, it's getting that time of day again. Uh, we're going to chop corn here on the farm this week if the weather holds up. Mm. McDonald's might tell you it's back Black Angus, but no way it is. Got that right. <laughs> Uh, we were to a fair the other night, and they did uh, grilled cheeseburgers. And a, a guy that grows black Angus knows what beef smells like, good beef. And I had my my uh, my opinions again, and I'll just keep them to that. But I wasn't very impressed with uh, the meat there at uh, grilling the... They were grilled cheeseburgers. They're, they're really good to eat, but, um, you know... Just keep my opinions to myself sometimes. The better off. So we got a bunch of heifers in here. These guy, girls are... Mean. Listen, here's a really good heifer calf. Yes, you are. Come here, sweetie. Um, so these are all for milk now. They'll get dehorned here once we get below uh, a certain temperature to get the flies away. And then we'll go back to dehorning again. And 
And we got Jumpy over here. Two more nice hackers. What I do is I put their uh, their uh, tags are on the back of their ear tag. If they'll stay still, they won't stay still. The mom and the dam and the sire is on the back of the tag. One of these will jump out here any minute, probably. They want their bottom. <laughs> You know better not to jump out, don't you? They're kind of comical to watch. So I guess I better go make their models. Ah, uh, they're taking a little break here. You can't work them too hard, uh, Scotty. Watch. If you watch here, 37 will jump out right about... If I step back a little bit, she'll jump. She knows better, too. <laughs> they want their bottles. I better get my work done. Now, you just wait there. I'll be back. Stay. <laughs> They're like, are you crazy? I think a lot of people know I'm crazy. Just stay. Yep, uh, they'll get banded here. <laughs> yep, and farming from above, he does a good job grilling and smoking. I'd rather have smoking than uh, grilling some days, but a good, uh, good Angus burger is always good. Yeah, they are really healthy. Uh, they're doing really well. More of the 330G. I'll try to make some more videos of that. I really enjoy that machine. So, so what's going to happen is chopping videos. We're going to chop corn on the farm. A lot of mud we're going to be dealing with. I don't have it all figured out yet if we're going to do carts or wagons. But uh, we'll get a game plan on Tuesday for Wednesday. As long as the weather holds out. Here comes one of the helpers behind me. And that's another thing. When you raise your own beef cattle, I don't know what it is. You know, you know where it's coming from. You know what it was eating. Yeah, we were out there taking some pictures with the little one. Um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not. Check out ELM Custom Harvesting on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, try the Farming Life 1 on Instagram. Some nice pictures over there. Uh, for Facebook, I get a lot of requests. I get uh, probably 100 requests a day to, uh, for friendship. And uh, there's just too many people out there that's hard to trust. And there's a couple guys I trust, but I think I'm over almost 10,000 followers on uh Or uh, not followers, but on Facebook, close to it, something like that. So we don't push that at all so it's Instagram so you ready to feed bottles okay but anyway so we were up there taking pictures you think I moved to the city for crying out loud I was all of a sudden all the traffic so we'll talk to you guys later uh, like I said and they won today or they will win. I hope they they win for your sake. For me, I don't really care. Go Dallas. <laughs> yeah, he heard the mooing, so I got to mix the milk. All right, you guys have a great afternoon. I'm going in the mixed bottles and nobody wants to watch that. If you do, there is a series on how to mix bottles. I had a question on the milk replacer. I'll try to answer that in another video. Um, yeah, so we have some things going on and, uh, we got a little bit of a 
change, so we'll see how we go. Thanks for everybody stopping over. And um, I might do another little short video here tonight on uh, feeding the calves or something like that, but not a live stream. It's so hard to uh, mix milk in a farmhouse. That's where I mix it, in the farmhouse and keep things clean. Otherwise, the missus might get upset. And then I'll be mixing milk out in the barn again. I did that already, but... Yeah, it did not go. But I like mixing it in the house. Keep it controlled mix, even blend. Guys, have a great day. Leave your comments. <coughs> we do have a winner for a new hat uh, on the hours. Uh, not the hours. On the shovel, the price. Uh, yeah, that, that was a very good price on the shovel. I see uh, some of you guys know it's a little bit more expensive. Talk to you later. Have a great evening.